You little red foot, yeah. This is like one of the reasons redfoots are so great. They're the goofiest little animals and they're personable, they're social. They love hanging out with each other. They'll come over and hang out with you, get their little butts scratched. All right, so this is the area we're working with. Uh, as you know, our redfoots have been expanding their population on their own as well as people have been giving us redfoots. And it's a very large area, so there's gonna be a big upgrade. It's gonna be a lot of work. There's already some really good foliage in this area. Look at all this beautiful bromeliads that we're gonna give it a nice tropical look through here. We'll see how this area transforms. Oh, he's in the vines. He's got a... Alright, quick update guys. Got all the posts set. Tell your pond's looking awesome. We're about to start the uh, cement work pretty soon. What a disaster it looks like right now. Okay guys, you've been asking for some updates on our captive animals. About two years ago, we posted the Redfoot tortoise pen we were building. They have absolutely destroyed that pen and outgrown that pen because people keep giving us their Redfoot. So here we are after we have built a brand new giant tortoise pen. It is about 2,000 square feet. One thing you have to learn about Redfoots, if you want a Redfoot tortoise, they're gonna destroy it. It's gonna turn into a pig pen. If you ask anyone that owns Redfoot tortoises, it doesn't care how well you build their pen. It's just gonna be a mud pen shortly. So we had to build a bigger pen so it takes them a little bit longer than two years to destroy it. Let's hope, let's hope. And we're not exactly completely done with this pen. Still have a couple little things to do, but we really wanna show you the update because it'll just be forever before we have everything completely done. So we're gonna go grab our tortoises. I think, Tay, how many tortoises are you up to now? 11. 11 plus babies. <laughs> All right, let's go bring them in. You guys ready to go to the meat market? Rough ride. Right. Marble, bully, little yellow, big yellow, big boy, great, Mabel, Quinta to <laughs> We have a giant staghorn fern for anyone that loves plants. Being mauled by a wild monkey. <laughs> Anyone that saw Taylor's post online, this is what Toby does whenever we're doing anything. Are you ready, Toby? Yeah. Now that the tortoises have dispersed, let's show you how we constructed the pen, and then later we're going to feed the tortoises and show you kind of what their diet consists of. But doing anything with him is so hard. So basically it's a pretty simple construction. It's posts with screen. We had to get a trench digger because I tried to hand trench it, and it was like, there's, wonky and rep made fun of me. So there's trees think. everywhere, huge amounts of roots. Taylor couldn't cut it straight, so we got a trench digger. Those things are horrible. Never get a trench digger unless you like ride on it and drive it around. We post hold, we cemented them in, the wire, uh, and then let's go show you while well, we're draining it right now. We have to refill it. So I'm pretty proud of us. We built a swimming pool. We it's did. some in-ground cement pond with a drainage system. It's dirty now because we had basically a hurricane last night because this is sunny South Florida. We got to have the hurricanes. So we did fill it up, it was all pretty, but no more. So we're draining it, but there's a drain system that is like three inches of concrete. It's beautiful. We got our little septic tank over here. So we made it a little bit deeper than I meant to, but I think they're gonna be able to get out of it, okay? No one's gonna drown here, we're good. Ooh, look at our plants that we got. So like we said, tortoises are highly destructive animals, so we try to get plants that they cannot destroy as easily. <laughs> yeah, so. Eureka palms. Uh, these do really good down here in South Florida. They grow up, they're really pretty. Cocoa plums. This is actually a native plant. Uh, they're pretty common, even around our yard, but we couldn't get any big enough. And then Taylor's pride and joy. This what do we have? Soursop, mome. I picked out fruit trees that produce fruits that when they fall, they won't kill the tortoises and crack them, okay? And they're still gonna be delicious and they could eat them. That way I don't gotta feed them as much. They're self-sustaining, okay? Rhett doesn't believe me. Oh, we have a guava, don't forget the guava. Uh, guava tree, right here for your needs. Now let's go show them the hide. Come on, Tobe, let's go team. So you could see all the natural plants that are already in here, the ferns, all those other plants. The tortoises will eat it all, weird now. 
Yeah, we've got bromeliads, ginger, different types of sword ferns. Here is the tortoise hide. All right, I don't want to do this. Oh my gosh, wait. Ah, I'm free! <laughs> how am I gonna make myself dinner? I'll go back. Do you know how many guys are getting into their cars right now to come save me? <laughs> this is Mabel. This is Grace. These two we got about a year ago because our owners unfortunately passed away and their son found us through a mutual friend. He knew we'd give him a good home and we're so grateful to have them. When we picked them up, we were like, holy crap, these things are humongo. We have a male that's large, but these guys are still bigger than him. Hold on, they've left the premise. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna bring them back. Ah, it's on my hair. Ow, that was, you did terrible placement. So these tortoises were raised from their other, this is a terrible idea, from their previous owners for the last like 30, 40 years or so. The son wasn't entirely sure, but they raised them from hatchlings. So these are some old redfoot tortoises and they are so friendly. It was kind of sad because obviously the owners took great care of them. Look at their perfect shells, they're beautiful, but also they lived outside. So the neighbors would come over all the time, pet them, bring them some food. So they're very loved and well cared for tortoises. So they're definitely not like rescues or anything. And they're so awesome. Look at this cuddling. <laughs> Really? Ouch! Tay, come on, get your tortoise. All right, so this is Rock. A uh, funny story of how I got Rock, I was actually at an old friend's house helping cleaning up the yard. And I was picking up some palm fronds and there was a little hatchling redfoot tortoise. He bred redfoot. Sometimes you don't find the eggs, okay? And sometimes they escape. Invasive species. Are you um, saying your friend's responsible for invasive species? No, I said my old friend. Oh. He let me take him home. So that was six years ago? Yeah. I grow my tortoises slow, I'm gonna be honest. Look how oh. good his shell looks. Taylor's looking for more tortoises. Okay guys, this is Bully. How did he get his name? From the time he was a hatchling, he was always beating up the other tortoises. He's like this big, and the other ones are like this big. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna hit my shell on you. <laughs> and he still does that, even though everyone else here is like 20 something pounds and he weighs like two. We have 11 adult redfoot tortoises. None of them are mean to each other. He's the only one. Right. By the way, we got this one a few years ago because I wanted to start my redfoot addiction army. And he was one of them. Sometimes I see our tortoises and I get shocked at how much they've grown. So this is marble. We got marble about three years ago from Petco. I'm a hypocrite. I said, don't get tortoises at pet stores. We really normally don't, but we went in for mealworms and this was around Christmas time and Rhett saw this tiny little cute, nice. but not like a hatchling. It was like a small one. It was an import. Rhett's like, I gotta take it home, that poor baby. Now in the wild, they have two options when they get caught. Uh, they either go to the meat markets and then sometimes they get offered more money to actually bring these tortoises alive to uh, pet dealers, which is an unfortunate situation. A lot of these tortoises are going to be used for meat regardless. So taking the imports into here, it's best if they end up in good care than in bad care. So that's why Redfoot still get imported into the United States. We don't want to support box store, pet stores, but uh, he got a good home instead of just going to an inexperienced owner and they don't get red foots all the time. Love you. Getting that salmonella. Okay guys, you might recognize these three. They were actually in our original tortoise video. We tried to build that big, beautiful cage and these are the culprits, they destroyed it. The girls are leaving. So we actually saw a post in our local Facebook page of someone giving away three adult redfoots and they really liked the tortoises but they just couldn't give them the proper home at the time. So of course I snatched them up, okay? I was ready. These are the ones that have actually been giving us a lot of babies. He knows what he's doing. Because mm -hmm. I felt bad. He was so shy when we got him. He hid in his shell most of the time. Uh, he would eventually come out and I'd have to sneak up on him just to see him and feed him. But now you can see he's used to us. He's getting very social. They're just such awesome tortoises once they get used to people and know that you mean food. And he's a big boy. He weighs about 19 pounds. Look at that. That's how you tell a male from a female. That is what? intense. Flat. And so males will have that. Females will have a flat belly. Do you want me to get like Mabel and you can compare them? So you can see with the males that they get really concaved in their stomach area. That's so they could fit the female booty in there. And the females are nice and flat. And then you could also tell, see how more rounded versus how this one's a little bit more of like a V shape. 
So you can see that the males kind of have more of that hourglass body shape. They divot in right here. So you got nice hips to grab onto that are not needed. And then the female is just more of a nice oval shape. So let's go plant those plants and then chop up some produce for the tortoises and then take a bath or a pool. A dip in the pool? Take a dip in the pool. So the first tree we're gonna start with is the guava. First, before we dig, we have so many wild reptiles in our yard that we have to slowly pull all the vegetation away and make sure that we don't chop anybody. Like that little scarlet snake that Taylor almost chopped. Oh no, that was so sad. When we were building this pen, when we started uh, removing some of the vegetation to build the fence line, you know what Taylor found? Let's show him. It's a good idea, because I wouldn't have been watching him when he's playing with this thing. Yeah, he would have been, we would have been like, Toby, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, I can hardly see it again when I come in the floor. He can't watch his food. We are not going to remove this snake from our yard. He's totally welcome to be here. We just don't want to accidentally step on him or hurt him while we're working in this area. But once your tortoise pen is done, oh, he's in the vines. Oh, oh, he's got a. Oh, sure. yeah. He's got a mouse in his tummy. Good. Coming through. Smaller snakes are often harder to catch because they're squiggly. And this guy was no difference. He got in the vines. Look at him. Our yard, we want it to be part of the natural ecosystem and let this guy play his role. Our life is filled with rattles. Yeah, we've been finding a bunch of snakes in here while working. Taylor found a bunch of baby red rat snakes. So who knows what we're gonna find next. But uh, let's start putting these together. Oh my God, guys, we're digging this other hole for the other mammae tree. There's some compost and we just heard some grunting and you know what that means? They're trying to make baby tortoises. Sir, look at that grin. Yeah, we caught you. Tay, we're gonna have to build another pen. They're trying to fill it up. All right, back to digging. It's, uh oh. There we go. Oh my gosh, they're back at it. We got all the plants planted. Mammae, soursop, cocoa plum. All right, Chef Taylor, teach us about red foot food. Why do we have a cat here? Chef Taylor, so Chef Glade here. Wait, have we told him about Glade yet? This is Glade Malone. One night when me, Rhett, and Toby were out python catching, there was a little kitten crossing in the road and I was like, hurry, stop, get it. And I tried to get the kitten, he let me get close and he ran away. I said, whatever, forget that cat, I hate him anyways. So Rhett got his published chicken tenders and said, come here, cat. And he got little baby Glade and we brought him home and I got him neutered and I tried to find a free home all over. That's our other dog. I tried to find him a free home. He was neutered, he was vaccinated, he was ready to go and no one wanted him. So now we have the most obese orange cat in the world. I know he's overweight. I know all my other animals are pretty good with their weight except him. I love him so much, he's the best cat in the world. He's 22 pounds. Look at his bow tie. Okay, so today we're gonna show you a little bit of like what the red foot diet consists of. They can have fruit, vegetables, and meat. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit of that. We got some kale here. We got some char. And we got some beet leaves. We got a bell pepper. We got some nanners. We got some Missouri monkey chow. Monkey chow? Taurus chow. And we got some delicious chicken hearts. So let's mix it up. This is scary. Dave, you're gonna cut a finger. See, it's a lot of hard work. It gets quite expensive feeding all of these animals their fresh produce. So thankfully I have coworkers and friends that donate sometimes. And if any of you wanna donate, you PM me, okay? fresh fruits, veggies, uh, different stuff every day. Oh my gosh, they're already decimating the food. In minutes, it's gone. Mm. 
Mabel, you're being rude. Oh, Marble came back over. We got the pool drained and now time to fill her up. Look at the little palms. They're gonna grow up and make it a little tropical oasis. We have well water, so it always kind of stays that yellow tint. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed uh, meeting some of our tortoises and seeing the new tortoise pen. We'll be doing more videos out here and with our animals soon. We'll take you back into the, the snake room pretty soon. Yeah, we got some baby vipers born, so maybe the next video or so you'll see us feeding those little guys. I think you'll enjoy them. They're pretty cute. They are. All right, time to take a swim with our tortoises. And you thought only turtles could swim. Rock swims great, look at that. 